Well, the latest and greatest gizmos and gadgets are being unveiled today at the world's biggest tech show in Las Vegas. Today, tech expert Trevor Long was lucky enough to score a ticket. I'm sure he's a special guest. He's there that often. He joins us now on the ground. Trev, tell us, what is CES and why is it such a big deal? Morning, Joel. Morning, Ali. It's, it's the start of the year for the tech business, basically. So think about your big TV companies. They're here showing off their next generation TVs to retailers like Harman Norman and JB Hi-Fi. They're walking around this show looking for the gadgets and the gizmos that they'll sell in retail stores across Australia this year. And that's obviously a worldwide thing. So there are, I don't know, 10, 11 MCGs worth of display space. It's not just the convention centre here in Las Vegas. It's pretty much every casino. So it's an important start to the year for the tech business. Business. Bring your sneakers then, Trev. Um, some unexpected brands are making an appearance this year. What is Lego doing at a tech show? Oh, no, Ali, honestly, when they reached out to me a few months ago and said, well, are you going to CES and, you know, can we talk about what we're doing there? I thought, what are you, what is Lego going to do at CES? But literally 20 minutes ago, they announced the Smart Play system. This is a smart brick that, can, that you can get from Lego that it basically allows your kids or yourself to interact with Lego. So it, it's, it's an amazing concept where you don't need a screen. So parents don't need to give the kids an app or a, or a smart device. They can just create interactive play with Lego bricks. And, and that's a very exciting change and a big evolutionary change for Lego as well. That looks costly if you step on one, which yeah. happens regularly. <laughs> Tell us this Lego brick. Is it interactive? How exactly does it work? Yeah, so they're launching with three kits, uh, Star Wars kits, because there's a lot of Star Wars Lego already. So they start from $99, go up to about $250. And basically, you get this one brick, and then the minifigure is interactive, as well as some sensors. And what you can do is you, it, it can respond with lights and sound. So imagine a child with, a, like, an X-Wing fighter, and, a, and, and they're, they're pointing it at a, at a base they're, they're shooting. Well, they can get the sounds and the, and the excitement of that play through simple Lego bricks. So it's a really, really interesting change for Lego, and I think that it's only started Starting with Star Wars, obviously it'll grow and expand out of there. So yeah, it's a really exciting little uh, change for Lego. Have they let you have, have a play with it yet, Trev? I'm having a look at it in about an hour from now, Ali. So uh, yes, I'm looking forward to uh, playing my inner child with some Star Wars. <laughs> right, and I know we're going to be hearing again from you later this morning, so I'm guessing you'll talk us through your experience with this new interactive Lego. What else are you going to be showing us today? I have seen some things that I want to show you in the next hour, including a chef's knife with ultrasonic technology. Weird, but trust me. And a cuddly and uh, an interesting robot companion. So more on that later in the show. Oh, that sounds questionable, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to that one. Thank, Thank you, Trent.